In this tutorial, I'll show you how to perform peak fitting using the peak analyzer. I'll also show you how to save the fitting settings to later reuse to fit new similar peak data. I already have a sample data file imported into this workbook. I'll begin by highlighting the input data and then opening the peak analyzer from the analysis menu, peaks and baseline, peak analyzer. The upper part of the dialog is a dynamic wizard map. It shows the steps it takes to complete the entire analysis. It also shows the current step. The lower part of the dialog is for customizing the computation options in the current step. One important option on the goal page is to select the type of analysis that you would like to perform. I'll select the Fit Peaks goal. Note that the Fit Peaks goal is only available to you if you have Origin Pro. The top panel is now updated to show the steps required to complete this goal. I click Next to go to the next page. In the Baseline Mode page, there are various options available for creating the baseline. I'll choose User Defined. This method will find some anchor points on the input data and then perform either interpolation or curve fitting on these anchor points to get the baseline. When I click Next, the Peak Analyzer has automatically determined these points and displayed them in the preview graph. For this data set, it did a pretty good job. However, if we wish to add or modify manually, we have that option as well. You can use the mouse to click and drag a point, as well as the arrow keys. When you're finished, click Done. If you wish to ensure that the point is snapped to the spectrum, you can click that checkbox. I'm going to modify the Connect By so it's set to Fitting. I'll select Exponential Decay 1. The anchor points have now been fitted with this function. However, this does not seem to be a very good match, so I'll switch the function to Exponential Decay 2. This looks better, so I'll click Next to continue on to the Baseline Treatment page. On this page, I decide what to do with the baseline, such as Subtract or Fit, as part of the final peak fits. I wish to subtract it, so I select that checkbox, as well as the Auto Rescale checkbox, so that when I click Next, the baseline will be subtracted from the input data, and the input curve will be rescaled so that it will look better. And we see the change on the preview graph. We're now on the Find Peaks page. I have the option of collapsing the upper panel, giving myself more room to view the peak finding settings. There are five methods available. They are used on different types of data. The default local maximum should be fine for this sample data. Checking the Show Second Derivative checkbox enables the display of the derivative on the preview graph. This is helpful for locating peaks in your data. When I click the Find button, two peaks are found. I'll now turn on the upper panel and go to the next page. This page has options for fit control, such as iterations, tolerance, and linear constraints. By checking the Show Residuals checkbox, we can see immediately the current residuals. I'll click the Fit Control button to open a dialog for further control over fitting. In this multi-tab dialog, you can fix, share, or set bounds on the parameters. You can also change the function to fit different peaks. If you wish to fix all peak centers, 
there is a button that you can click. In the parameters table above, you'll see both peak centers have the fixed checkbox checked. Now I click the Fit Until Converged button. The residuals get better, and the reduced chi-square value can be read from the Messages tab. Let me click the button again to release all the peak centers. Now the peak centers can vary during the fitting iterative process. To perform the fit again, I'll click the Fit Until Converged button. Note the chi-square value has been improved. I click OK to close the dialog. Before I finish, I'll save the settings for applying this analysis on similar data. To do this, I click the arrow next to Dialog Theme and choose Save As. We can specify what to save with this dialog theme. I'll enter a name. and click OK to save. I'll now click Finish to finish the analysis and create the output report sheets. The Peak Properties sheet has all the peak properties reported. Now let me run through this analysis on a new set of data. I highlight the column and then select Analysis, Peaks and Baseline, Peak Analyzer, and select my theme from the flyout. Selecting the theme will run through the analysis without opening the dialog. I can sit back and the results are immediate. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.